members of state, beloved future leaders of our great nation, Ghana, friends of the media. Today represents a major milestone in our Ghana history. The overwhelming emotion for me are immense gratitude and intense pride. Gadambi, Anya Koe! Gadambi, Anya Koe! Nyachuno, Anya Koe! Our journey together has brought us to this point. The grand inauguration of the King Takitayo the First Class Dara School. Most of us here are a testament to the power of education in transforming lives and shaping destinies. The edifice stands out not only as a representation of hope for our children's future, but a demonstration of unwavering belief in the boundless potential of our youth. By investing in their education in such a tangible way, we invest in the future of the gas state. And Ghana as a whole. In Yeme, I'm a firm believer in education, as well as many of you, because I recognize and understand its power to unlock the potential of children in embracing a brighter, successful, and excellent future. I'm committed to pursuing the inculcation of culture and of excellence in our schools by encouraging, fertile, encouraging, innovative, and creative minds, anchoring in the value of respect, accountability, and courage, and excellence for all. I commend and appreciate the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints for their visionary leadership and unwavering support of President R. M. Nelson the Twelve Apostles, Elder Gifford Nelson, Wendy, my dear, are you there? Eddie Nicole Stelling of the Stelling Foundation USA. These people were wonderful to us when we were in Utah. And I want you to give them a round of applause. all the developmental partners in financing and overseeing the monumental project. This dedication to education merely is commendable. It is exemplary and serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration to all of us. To corporate Ghana, I implore you to invest in education. Nurturing the minds of our youth not only creates a talent pool of your human capital. It also secures a prosperous future for generations. An educated society is not a luxury, but a necessity. What we inaugurate here today requires continued support to sustain it and for a long term to have it fulfill its fullest impact. Please partner with the Gulf State to help it flourish and to produce fresher future leaders of our nation Ghana. I also call on support for the redevelopment of basic schools within the greater Accra region, especially in Accra. The Simpe cluster of schools on the high street. To the youth of Katangbe, you are the architects of tomorrow. Your dreams and ambitions reach to the stars and pursue greatness with unwavering determination. To the Minister of Education, we are grateful for the recent efforts in restructuring the posting of Ga and Dangde graduate teachers who have been posted out of this jurisdiction. We still have a backlog of Ga and Dangde graduate teachers, and we request that they are posted within the Greater Accra region to 
fulfill the deposit, the deficit of graduate teachers of the two most important languages in the Great Accra region, Ga and Dangre. The people's identity is as much invested in their language as in their tradition, culture. And for this reason, we must enforce that the teaching of Ga and Dangbe languages are taught in all schools in the Great Accra region. With the inauguration today, we, Game, Gadambe, Fomobi, we have made history. Put your hands together. <laughs> A history that marks the re energizing, renewal, resurgence of our land. Today, let us begin to tap into and enhance the intellectual innovative potential of our children for the greater good. In essence, we train up a child the way he or she should go. This school should never forget to build a maintenance culture to sustain cleanliness and the well-being of staff and students and the environment. The Gamanche Foundation and the Gamanche Educational Committee should set up a separate committee for maintenance to aid in the maintenance of this school. I hope that Dr. Sphil Gabra is listening. We also want to thank the government for the initiative of the free SHS, I believe that Ghanaians will thank them for it. But I also want to commend them on the redevelopment of the Millennium Building. And we appreciate a great effort. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's important to bear in mind always that education is not merely a privilege, it is a fundamental right. We must therefore be unrelenting in our quest to ensure that every child in Gadangbe, irrespective of your background and circumstance, will be equipped to participate alongside any educated child in the world, starting from this school. My heartfelt gratitude goes to the Educational Committee of the Gamanche Foundation. The team of workmen from both the Gamanche Foundation and LDS, the headmistress and staff of the school, the member of parliament for Suklote, the MCE, the engineers and project staff, Ni Abito Tinto II, the Simpe Manje, who was part of the team that went to Utah for this funding. Nidodun Saki II, Captain Kojo Nsieni Mankata, Ni Tete Ablo, Rest in peace. Ni Tete Ablo, Rest in peace. Ni Tete Ablo, May he rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace. Manye, Naba Densua the first. Nia Dabraka, my friends, James, Mariam, Auntie Emilia, my Chief of Staff, Justice Nayale E.J. Amwa, Ezra, the Gang Paramount Stu Jase, Ni Teko Chiruwe, Ni Akropon the Ter, may his soul rest in peace, and all contributors to this momentous occasion. May this inauguration and our dedication to education continue to ignite hope and inspiration for the generations to come. Yeah. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.